Hey there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video of Game Gear Linux. This time around I'm showcasing Doom Eternal, which was released the 20th of March 2020, and retails at $49.99. Although I managed to pick this up during the Steam Autumn Sale for a whopping £16, which is a mega deal. The game has to be run through Steam Play Proton, and has a gold rating on the Proton database, which I think is fully justified. So, first of all, the game has multiplayer mode, uh, apparently. Okay, swiftly moving on. For Linux users, this was a highly anticipated game despite being Windows only, just because of how well Doom 2016 ran. And thankfully, this one does not disappoint either, with my experience of this game already being a much smoother experience, jumping straight in without any FPS drops or anything else. It's such a smooth experience, it's honestly one of my favourite first person shooters, just from how responsive it is. The Doom guy you play as feels almost like a superhero with how powerful he is, with his wide arsenal of weapons at his disposal, and badass finishing moves that you can perform on any small or huge demons you come up against. A lot of the demons from the previous instalment make an appearance alongside a bunch of new guys to encounter and brutally kill. Honestly, the graphical fidelity of the game means that these brutal kills you perform never, ever, 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 ever get old. So far I've found that the overall game is a much more difficult experience than the first. I feel only a few hours into the game I've died more times than my whole time on Doom 2016, but with the added abilities that I've made it into this game, I found you have to try and think more about what your next move is or going to be when you're getting laid into by a horde of demons. And to top it off, it's got an epic heavy soundtrack which matches the hellish theme of this experience. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, rate and subscribe for future Linux content and I'll see you in the next one.